Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode six of the Real Meal Podcast. My name is Jacob. I'm Joseph. I'm Austin. Yep. As you can tell, we have a special guest, our first time guest, our longtime buddy, Joseph's lifelong buddy, of mine of like six years. <laughs> Austin Arroyo joining us for the first time. Mainly because the story wouldn't be like right without him. We tried doing this episode before. You heard us mention that all the time in yeah. episode five. That one was originally supposed to be episode five, but instead we talked shit about a bunch of artists that you guys mostly love. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's okay. It's all in good fun. That's just our opinions. So let's get right into it. Uh, pretty much the topic of today's episode is summer of 2016 and why we picked that year is specifically because I think that one was the most memorable summer vacation I've ever had. Oh, for sure. I don't remember yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you better. So I remember, we, this is this is a whole podcast dedicated <laughs> Yo, to dude. that. Yo, dude. Hey, I swear. When we... <laughs> when we... <laughs> shit, the fucking... Uh, 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 okay. When we were... <laughs> uh, when we were doing this one for the first time, like, the more that we talked, the more that we remembered. So, like, yeah. the, as, as we go along, you'll remember shit. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. Can so, you just explain to me how my fucking brain works, bro? <laughs> All right, so summer 2016. I remember that one specifically because our friend Anthony Art. How's his last? Ortega. Ortega, yeah. I remember always saying like Ortega. Right. <laughs> Ortega. He came down. Uh, we used to go to school with him our freshman year, and then we got the unfortunate move. Oh uh, shit! We got the unfortunate news that he moved to Oklahoma. Yep. So that was, a, that was a sad time. Fuck Oklahoma. That was my boy. <laughs> this was before he joined the the Marines, huh? Yeah. All this right. Is, this is when he still had his hair, I think. I think so. So, yeah, our buddy flew in from Oklahoma, visited us for like the first time in two years, and it was really nice to see him. And that that night specifically was one to remember. Was it that night or the or the day after that we got chased by tweakers? That was like two days. That was two days after. Actually, no, that was the next day. Yeah, because uh, we got we ended up getting chased by tweakers. They had uh they had, or she had, what was it perfume or? Yeah, she had like body spray or something. Yeah, she had a body <laughs> spray and she was uh, she was trying to spray us. She had a lighter in the other hand. Yeah, she was like, "Y'all need to be clean. Y'all smell bad. Let me help you." And then she started chasing us with the lighter. After I she... remember very clearly putting on deodorant that day because I dropped it and got over all over my fucking jeans. Yeah. Uh, Bitch. But the night me stinky. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tweak. She fucking almost set us on fire, and we almost threw hands with her. <laughs> um, but the that one day. When he first came, uh, it was all of us like finally reunited again. I remember just spending the whole day just dicking around. Um, we went skinny dipping. Remember that? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Late at night, I think you're working at Fagundas. But as soon as you came home, then we started like walking around all night. Oh yeah, fucking. You know, what? honestly, I don't care if the fans in the fucking audio. It's send hot. it. Send it. Sorry guys, you're gonna hear a fan. Oh, and for you guys that don't know, we uh, I am live streaming this on an app called Spoon. Um, if you wanna wanna hop on that, you can go send it. Turn it all the way. All the way? Yeah. I'll just point it up. No, not all the way up. God like, damn. Not all the way up. Like turn the knob all the way to where it's on the lowest. That setting. thing's gonna take off. <laughs> right. That's good. No, it's not hitting the audio directly. Should we just restart this? Nah. Nah? Imperfections. Fuck it. Full set. Perfect. Because we're not perfect. My mom says I'm special. You are <laughs> special, Austin. Now I'm going to turn it down lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can like, see it in the wavelengths. Oh, shit. That is all the way up. <gasps> Fuck it. So, yeah. I remember walking around Manteca all night. We stopped by Tweaker Park. Hey, what's up, Kayla? Thanks for popping into the stream. We stopped by uh, Tweaker Park, and uh, this was like when Pokemon Go was like the fucking hottest thing. God damn, I remember right. that. I dude, like we call it Tweaker Park because, as the name impl- like implements, 
there's a bunch of tweakers there. And all of, like, the the Pokemon Go players. And, like, the tweakers basically just got driven out of yeah. that park. Like, it was... They got and, and run like, out of their home. <laughs> like, they got, like, they just got evicted as soon as everybody started, like, trying to catch Pokemon over there. Plus, there was a gym in that park. There was a gym? Uh, Dude, I remember so specifically there were people cosplaying as fucking Ash. <laughs> yeah, there were people doing all that kind of stuff. There was, was fucking black. tents, and there was lawn chairs and we were just there <laughs> we just walked in um then uh i remember passing by and all the tweakers were in that little uh alleyway yeah <laughs> just chilling sleeping they were, they were always on uh in that alleyway or under the gazebo yeah yeah but they they got fucking even after that they got got moved out of the gazebo because people started getting hella close to the yeah they didn't like that they got evicted <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's been their first eviction notice in a while. Yeah, and I remember like I was talking hella shit, just like wanting a Pokemon Go player to just fucking swing on me. Like you guys played it, but you guys weren't like religiously playing it, no, like, like some of those people were. Every now and then, if I like couldn't sleep or something, I'd just go walk around and wear myself out a little bit playing Pokemon Go and come back home and sleep. Yeah, Anthony. Nice. I remember Anthony was like also dying for a cigarette. Yeah. And he didn't have a lighter, so like when we got back to Austin's house, mm-hmm. we like spent a good thirty minutes trying to light a cigarette. Yep. Yeah. What, what we? I think I ended up uh, just burning a, a napkin, running outside with it. I dropped it. I remember him like going face first into the ground to light it. And then we were in the room. And we tried to like get him to Superman it. Yep. Oh, and he, he ended up. up throwing up. Yep. <laughs> remember that, Austin? I do. But you know what I remember most about that night? What? When we went to the skate park. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. You know what? We went to the skate park and we were dicking around and I really had to take a shit. So Yeah, I I couldn't hold it in, so I just said fuck it, pulled down my pants, went into the big skate bowl mm-hmm. and I just ripped it. <laughs> my man took a shit. <laughs> a big shit. Oh my god. That was gnarly. And then fucking we all peed in the bowl. We had like <laughs> we had like four spots that we all connected <laughs> and then there's that picture i think you took it yeah i, I think i'm the one that took it like it's we're all just silhouette. like yeah like we're all just it's, so this picture is we're sitting at the top of the bowl of this of uh at the skate park and um we all just have a left hand up with like the, the horns like yeah with like horns up and i just took this picture and it's like all of us are sitting like right next to each other it looks dope as fuck that, that picture, like, right there just sums up that night. Because, like, I never used to go out at night. I was a very, like... My parents aren't strict, but they're concerned yeah. <laughs> about me going out at night. But, I mean, fuck it, dude. Like, that freedom, just being able to, like, walk around the pitch of darkness. Right. Just fuck hey, around with my Spooner? homies. Thanks for popping into the live. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, it was nice. It was memorable right. something i would never forget and uh shit i remember i was six i was 16 still mm-hmm. anthony was 18 so we got busted for curfew he was my legal guardian yeah <laughs> um was i 17 yeah yeah because i think he was le- legally he was our dad that night yeah for sure um i think i might have been 18 nah you're you're 17 was i yeah, because, like, that was the same... Because that was the same year that we uh, spent the night at your house, and we had, like, the first Helljoy concert practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody watched us, like, butcher three songs. <laughs> right. Hey, that we couldn't even the, get all the way the through. Thanks for the like, Broski. Appreciate it. Um, but fucking... Yeah, that was, like, that was... That night was crazy. Um, Welcoming which spoon? We went fucking skinny dipping afterwards. Like at one o'clock at night, <laughs> right? The fucking at one o'clock at night. You mean in the morning? It was. It was at. It was at night in the morning. <laughs> at, at night morning. One o'clock a.m. at night. <laughs> in the dead of night. So, what are some other stuff that happened that summer? Um, Austin, do you have any memories? Honestly, other than like just that story, its own. Like, I don't really remember much to be honest. Jesus. I remember you were dating your uh, your ex, Bev. Yeah, I was dating Bev. 
And uh, we took a picture because me and me, you and Anthony were just dicking around and shit. Anthony took a selfie with uh, me and you. Yeah. And in that picture, I was naked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> and fucking Bev was there. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Bev didn't give a shit. No. Nah, you had a towel on, so. Huh? Wait, that picture you had a towel you, on, yeah. You had a towel on. I, I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> I was naked. I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> like, I was, I was studying the picture and, like, I could, I could just see. <laughs> and then the day after is uh, when we, like, just walked around at, during the day. I think we went to, like, Big Lots and Taco Bell. And that's yeah. when the tweaker, like, ran up on us and tried to catch us on fire. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. And then what do we do after that? I think I think Anthony had to go home, and then me and you just went back to Austin's house. Fucked around. Yeah, we were just in high school. Like, my, my house was just, like, the go-to hangout spot. Yeah, that's because you had a pool, <laughs> and yeah. it was hot as fuck. That's, that's the only reason that they made me a part of the friend group, was just because I had a pool. Ah, oh, bullshit. <laughs> You only like me for my water. Your water wasn't even drinkable. <laughs> and people peed in it. Sorry, uh, Austin. No, I, I stepped out of the pool and used a hose. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but oh, like yeah, yeah, you're man. just kidding. Bullshit. Oh, no, I peed in this pool, though. <laughs> only a couple of times, like, when I absolutely couldn't hold it. <laughs> hey, thanks for the like, Art. Art Spoon, I appreciate. I thought that was Ark. <laughs> no. Um... And then uh, I remember the day after that, that was the first time that Jacob, Jacob met Anthony. Yeah. yeah. We were there. I remember that because we went to that park uh, by Sabrina's apartment complex. Yeah. And then uh, Anth Anthony and Jacob were just getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And I really had to pee. So like I went atop of the, <laughs> I went atop of the, the twisty slide and I just let it rip down the slide. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> Fucking, um... We didn't... Dude, we didn't give a shit. We, did, like, did everything. Public what, urination. What fucking was, was that? probably gave some poor kid chlamydia. What? <laughs> what? I'm kidding. I, uh, was that the year that I was jumping off Austin's roof? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, I mean, yeah. you did that every year. Well, yeah, that was, like, the main year everybody, like, realized I started doing it. Oh, yeah. no, that was the year after. Was it? I, yeah, because you are jumping off your own roof. <laughs> Let me look at my Snapchat memories really quick. No, it's 2017. Uh, but I remember we got back to Austin's house and like we were trying to convince Jacob to skinny dip with us. Yeah. And it was the funny thing about this is that it was fucking the middle of the day. It was bright. Right. And me and you and Anthony were skinny dipping. I don't. Uh, I, I don't care. Like if yeah, somebody, I don't. If somebody sees me naked, sorry. I'm not in their fucking yard. <laughs> Who cares? <Yeah. laughs> um. But yeah, it took like a good like half an hour to convince Jacob to finally do it. Right. And he was so nervous. <laughs> and like he was like, Oh my god, oh why do I do this? <laughs> and he like jumped into the fucking pool. And then I remember so vividly his fucking like nutsack clapping his stomach and then just <laughs> smacking the water. <laughs> right. Like yeah, I just, found a video of you boom. jumping in the pool. What year in was like two thousand seventeen? Yeah, it was seventeen. <laughs> found this too. Oh fuck, man! <laughs> and then it's a picture of that. Uh, it's a picture of a uh, young Jacob. Yeah, young Jacob with bangs. With, yeah, with bangs. He lo he looks like Coconut Head. If Coconut Head like stood in a tanning bed too long. Some a <laughs> yeah, some Asian chick gave me a fucked up haircut. <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to sound racist, but that's why I don't get my haircut from Asians anymore. <laughs> that's racist. <laughs> Uh, if I wanted to be racist, I could have said some shit. Yeah, don't get me banned. But I'm I'm holding it together. No, I'm not. I'm a fucked up person, but I I'm fucked up when it's okay to be fucked up. Uh, but I also remember mm -hmm. uh, we went to a practice. We had a Helljoy practice. Yeah. The OG Helljoy, and Anthony was just there. Mm -hmm. Just there. He wasn't I mean, doing anything. He was just yeah, kind of there. And then we went swimming afterwards. Did Anthony go swimming too? I think he did. Because Cooper was like still showing off his bodysuit. Yeah. His like wetsuit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was all fucking stoked on that. It's like, okay, bud. He was <laughs> like, dude, watch this. I'm going to do a backflop and it's not going to hurt. Uh, then he did like the shittiest backflop I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And I got out of the pool and I'm like, that's not a backflop. This is a backflop. You did it and Just you were straight in. flat back to my back <laughs> on the water and I just came up screaming 
That hurt. Uh, you were in pain. I saw the look on your face. You were just like, oh my god. Yeah, that didn't feel good. Well, I can imagine. <laughs> um, I also remember... <laughs> Roundup Day. Oh god. When we all got together at your house. That day is full of drama. I fucking hated high school. You fucking hated it, but you loved it. Uh, the only reason I liked high school was literally just for, like, sports and the dumb shit that we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not kinda, the dumb kinda, shit that our our exes did. <laughs> yeah, right. I kind of I kind of miss like, like not kind of like I really do miss like doing the stupid shit that we did. Like there we're, was there were so many things that I don't think I don't feel we should talk about. <laughs> and we we're so free too. Like we didn't have any responsibility. Right. Now it's like we're adults. We got shit to do. I know. Um, don't grow up, kids. <laughs> What I remember vividly, yeah. it's full of taxes and depression. What I remember right. super clearly was uh, it was Roundup Day. We all got together at uh, Austin's house, the usual. We had a, like a little pool party. Then uh, we went to fucking. Oh wait, no, that was the year before <laughs> yeah. when you fucking RKO'd Felix. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was a perfect RKO, okay, yeah, too. Yeah. I'm proud of that one. I'm still proud of that. You still, can it still hear me from here? Uh, I'm not sure. Just talk loud. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, talk that loud. Um, but, yeah, we were waiting for Jacob to come. This is already, like, when Anthony left. Uh, <laughs> I sent him a very fucked up picture. His favorite artist was Biggie Smalls. And uh, let's just say the picture was fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, well, Enough to make him mad. <laughs> like, genuinely angry. Yeah, genuinely angry, because that's his favorite artist. Like, he live, he rides or dies for his music. And, uh... I completely forgot about the picture. It's been, like, three hours at this point. We were swimming. Uh, I got out early. Because, you know, drama. <laughs> and, uh... I feel so fucking bad, but I don't. Uh, <laughs> I was dry. Like, I had my socks on. I had my towel over my shoulder. Just got dry, about ready to get dressed up. And Jacob fucking pushes me in the pool. <laughs> and then there's I'm like... towel and everything. Yeah. And if there's one... There's two things I really fucking hate in this world. It's wet socks and a wet towel. <laughs> so... I asked him, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Why'd you do that? And he was like, that was for that picture you sent me earlier. And I'm like, what the fuck? You did that to me because of, because of that? And then I waited like a good, uh... It was about five, ten minutes. I, no, I, like, I, rem I waited until like I was completely dry again. Because mm -hmm. I wanted him to forget about what he did. I took my towel. Just... Oh, God, let, I, I just that. wound it up for a good minute I went up to him literally cocked back as far as I could and let let rip the most brutal rat tail you probably ever seen I was a good five feet away from him and that shit literally caught like the tip to his uh, stomach it left a mark that was there for like two weeks after that yeah like when that towel snapped against his skin you could probably hear that like three houses down but you could probably hear his scream from the next town <laughs> yeah it was it was it was bad didn't didn't your mom austin didn't your mom like come out and she was like what the fuck was that yeah she was <laughs> yeah i swear he fucking screamed for a good 10 seconds and then everybody was like what the fuck what was that and then i like I stood there so proud of what I did. I was like standing fucking, there with this like smug smile on your face. I was like, yeah, that's what you get, motherfucker. And then like all every everybody at that pool party was like, why'd you do that to him? Why'd you do that? What well, the I, fuck? Well, I didn't ask. That? I fucking, I was rolling. I know. Dude. Of course you didn't because I told you I was going to do it. Yeah. And then like, I was like, well, he pushed me in the pool and got my towel wet and my socks. Hey, and then every, like everybody was just in. straight up like. You seriously did that to him because of that? And I just straight up, I was like, yeah, yeah I did. He pushed me in the pool over a meme. Yeah. It wasn't I, was, even a, I wouldn't consider it a meme. I photo, it was Photoshop. <laughs> Love it too, Bill. Let's just let's just stop at there about the picture. But, uh... 
<laughs> yeah. That was like, a... straight up, I was like, yeah, I did that because he did that. I, I seriously put a mark on him that lasted a year just because he put pushed me in the pool. Yeah. Uh, and it, at first, he was really upset about it, like, obviously. Oh, he got over it, though. Yeah, he, he got, got over it pretty, pretty fast. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. at, like, like, a couple hours later, he's like, that shit hurt. Like, like that shit hurt. La- laughing about it and shit. That was, that was funny. It was, it was so fucked up. But honestly, like, that that was memorable. Yeah, that was memorable in all the wrong ways. Yeah. <laughs> and throughout the whole school year, we just kept asking him, "Hey, is that Mark still there? Hey, is that Mark still there?" He would show us and we'd be like, "Fuck, yeah, that, that was, was bad." <laughs> that was that was your best rat tail you've ever done. Best rat tail I've ever done, and pro- I'm probably the most undeserving person of it. <laughs> right, right. You need to try to top it somehow. Nah, nah I ain't getting... There, there's no better than that. That was perfect. Like, that was pinpoint accuracy with pure hatred in mind. <laughs> <laughs> there was just anger. and just, just malicious anger. intent just behind a single rat tail. Yep. Pain <sighs> is pain, bro. This is brought to you by water. Uh, well, don't say the brand because we're not sponsored by them and we don't feel like paying them royalties. Oh. Shout out to Earth. Shout out to Mother Nature for providing <laughs> us this awa. Shout out to mental illness. <laughs> Shout out to you depression. Got mental illness, bro. It's fucking turn up, dude. It's fucking turn up, dude. <laughs> no, like honestly though, like oh, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, like I said, like every everything that really happened in high school in like 2017, 2016, fucking 2018, like all that shit, that was like, that was like peak, like happiness. <laughs> and then everything What's after that? that, everything after that went downhill. I was like, oh, okay, joining the military, cool. At first, joining the military was pretty cool, and it, like then it just kind of like the 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 hype of being in the military was like kind of dwindled a little bit and now it's, then it was just like all right this is whatever mm-hmm. and that um like i don't know i, I miss being i miss being that happy me it, fucking it, it, it too. sounds really fucking cheesy and depressing but like like genuinely like she's <laughs> whack bro yeah um it's hella whack fuck it why don't we talk about 2017 too while we're at it we were talking about 2017 we were yeah. talking about, well, we were mixing it all up. Mm-hmm. Like in 2017 summer, Anthony came back again. Yeah. This time as a, a fresh Marine. Yeah, he, he just joined the Marine. Uh, he, he was on his 10-day boot leave. Yeah, and I just shaved my mustache off. <laughs> yeah. I remember... Uh, I still have that screenshot. Fuck that I shit. think I was gone when he came back, right? Yeah, you yeah. were gone. Yeah, so, and pretty much just like for context... So, I actually ended up joining the military also, but the thing is that, for me, I was born with this thing called Hirschsprung's disease, so I just was born with, like, fucked up digestive system, and I had to show that to the, that paperwork to the recruiter, of course, because I got scars from surgery, and so, um, I ended up getting sick, like, towards the end of boot camp. They kind of lined the, the two papers up, and I didn't really feel like I was in a position to try to, like, argue it. So, they sent me home. Yeah, that... I remember that. You came, all, you came home all, like, sad and shit. Dude, I'm, honest, Dude, I'm not gonna came, lie, I had fun. Didn't <laughs> he come home while you were... Yeah, you were, yeah, you gone. shipped out, like... Uh, like maybe like what two like maybe like what two weeks what, what when was your ship date uh november 6th i believe yeah because i yeah because i came home like literally right after thanksgiving yeah so i came home like three like two to three weeks after you left yeah so like we barely missed each other Ugh. yeah fuck i remember uh shit i remember i fucking cried when you left <laughs> i didn't think i was I feel like a little bitch. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, I remember... Dude, I remember your going away party. Dude. They fucking made you a dick cake. Yeah, they went... So, okay. So, they literally went to um, to the fucking store. They got me a chocolate cake. 
and then they had got a Snickers bar and a pack of Reese's. And then by the time that they showed up back to my house, um, they arranged the candy into the shape of a dick, and then brought it back into the gar- or into the backyard, and everybody just lost their shit. <laughs> Who did that? That was... Um, I don't know. I think it was... Um, that was Eli Daniel and Sabrina. Yeah. Eli Miguel Daniel and Sabrina. Yeah. Uh, I, I still watch their vlogs every once in a while. That's just like a nice little time capsule. Right. <laughs> Man. When we did those speeches, I was like, why the fuck are we doing this? Why are we getting so sentimental? I was like, I hate doing this. And everybody gave us every everybody gave a fucking speech, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Man, I'll I'll feel so fucked up if I don't say anything." So I got up and I like started again, all like basic and shit, like, "Oh, I'll miss you," you know, "Thanks for everything." And like I got overwhelmed and I started crying. Yep. And I was the only one that fucking cried. Hey, what <laughs> bitch? No. Yeah. Right. No. No. Just, like that just shows how much I care. Right. Fucking, um, when, did I throw, I did throw a going away party, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck. At your house. Yeah, it was That was like the last night that I, like, spent the night (laughs) for a while. Obviously, I mean, I went to fucking boot camp for three. No, I was gone for seven months. I ended up getting injured. Yeah. Second BMP. But I mean, like, by that, like, I mean, like, that was the last time it was just me and you. Like, right. By yeah. the end of the night, it was just me and you. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised nobody else spent the night. Mm-hmm. Nah, I didn't. I didn't really want anybody else to spend the night. I just wanted like, I just wanted my homie, my my true brother. Austin was gone, so he couldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the true brother by default. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. Nah, I, w- I would have had both of you stay. Like fucking. Honestly, I don't even rem- like. When was the last time that I spent the night? I. I don't know. It's been a cool minute. Because I remember, like, those old birthday parties that you used to throw. Yeah. Dude, that, your fucking 16th birthday party was a... Or your 17th birthday party was a rager. <laughs> it was a rager, bro. <laughs> remember when we were, like, up so, all night trying to get Cooper to do stupid shit? Yeah, he did it all. He did it all, except for except stick for the, a fork yeah. in the toaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that was, that was bad. Oh, fucking no, pussy. I wouldn't have done it. I'm Fuck that. No, I don't blame him. <laughs> No, fucking, uh, what did we fill up a, a little shot glass with? We filled it with, like, Pepsi, Tapatio, Pepsi, tapatio whipped cream. Tapatio, whipped cream. I think, we put, uh, I think we put a little, like, hot dog in it. Oh, yeah. Was I there for that? Yeah, yeah. you were there. Because I was going to say, because I, re- I remember this, too. You, yeah. you might have been in the other room, like, chilling or something. Dude, because I remember, like, if he, the one dare that he didn't do, you both smashed, like, a whipped cream pie in his face. Yeah. I, I think I have a picture of that on my phone somewhere. I was going to say, I think I do too. I might, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> so fucking... I remember I re- sitting in the backyard fucking spraying Axe body spray into the fucking water bottle and I lit it. Like, lit the top and yeah. some in it. It was like a little foam thrower. Dude, just some of the shit that we do is so fucking... Stupid. Dumb. Like, you remember when we were... I, th- I think you were there. It was either you or that piece of shit. Uh... We we're you were fucking spraying axe body spray on your chest here, just setting it. Oh uh, no, fire. that was me, you, Cooper, and yeah. I think piece of shit. Yeah. And fuck face. Yeah, and fuck face. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I lit my nipples on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little did I know that that wasn't the only pain my nipples would go through. I now have a nipple piercing. Oh what the fuck. Was um, shit. What else do we do? Uh, I remember uh, summer vacation 2016 when we would practice like twice that summer. Yeah. <laughs> I say twice because we went over to his house a bunch of times, but we only ever like really practiced twice. We, we would practice for like 30 minutes and then go swimming. Yeah, it was like 100 and fucking 106 degrees. Yeah. 110 at most. That shit was gnarly. Like, we're, we're Cali boys. We're not used to that shit. Yeah, we fucking. We would hang out at that little park by Cooper's house. And I remember me, you, and Austin we were, like, waiting. We had water balloons. Yep. We were just waiting for Cooper to come just so we could throw it at him. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, since we're, since we're uh, on the topic of uh, taking it back to, like, high school years and shit, 
What about that time we got jumped? How many times did you guys talk about this in the podcast? We talked. We have an episode dedicated to it. But you, dude, did should we, we like let him that? explain it through his words? Yeah. All right. Well, you heard you heard it through me and Joseph's perspective. I think it's only fair that we have the other person that got jumped with us. Yeah. yeah this the person with us right now is. The second victim. <laughs> yeah. Victim. I wouldn't say victim. I mean, <laughs> you uh, I mean, walked into it. I mean, dude, you came out the worst looking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I looked so... I, I was sexy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you look like you came out of a fucking Rambo movie. <laughs> right? No, like, I had. I think I you, had a fat you, lip. I had a bruised ear. And that was it. I, I left that place, like... I, I, dude, I have, like, hey. a long-ass scar on my elbow. You look like the person that fucking Rocky took the... Or, like, Rambo took the easiest... Yeah, on. <laughs> which still is pretty fucked up. Okay. My eye was like swollen shut. I think my lip was cut. I had um, like a fat ass like hole in my wrist. Yeah, that was bad. Um, so like during uh, okay, this is this is gonna be like a little interview thing right now. Okay, um, it's an intervention. It's an interview, not intervention. Austin, <laughs> you have a problem. <laughs> So like, when when you found out that I was gonna get into that fight and like we we were about to walk down there, what were, what were you thinking? Uh, honestly, I just I had like a weird feeling that something wasn't right. Like right. Like I had an unsettling like stomach feeling. Right. I mean that could have been just her, her folks. No, <laughs> you, you probably just had to poop. No. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna shit myself, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I was, um, I was just kind of, like, unsettled with it. Like, I didn't feel, like, something just didn't feel right. All right, because at, at this time, like, you or, like, nobody there has seen me fight before, like. And before I, this. and before that, you were the only person in the group that actually has been in fights. Yeah. Besides, I mean, you've been, Jacob, you've been in fights before, but. Yeah, but like, I didn't have but the Joe, reputation but, that yeah, he but, has. Yeah, but Joe is, you're, like, the, like, the go-to guy. Right. Pretty much for every, uh fight i've been in he's been in like 20 because <laughs> my my fights that. are like sprawled out between like every five years because <laughs> i i only throw down like when it absolutely calls for it hey thanks for the like bell i appreciate it brother but um yeah so like as we were walking to the park like what was like I, I want to know. Like, do you remember like everything that was going through your head at that time? Like, as we were walking down, like was, down to the park, we saw all these dudes start jumping out of fucking alleyways over fences and shit. I was and like, this Tyler. is fucking weird. Oh yeah, and then Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, and then Tyler. Like, talk about your uh, your what your emotions were when he was flashing his fucking ass. I was like <laughs> crying, laughing. Um, before this, I'd never been in a fight before. Like, this was technically my first fight. Right, and you, you didn't even expect to get in, involved. Yeah, I just, like, I had a bad feeling and I felt like I had to be there, even though I've never been in a fight before, so I just, I just like, knew that I had to be there. And then I see Tyler over here flashing his gooch. Yeah, it wasn't even his gooch, it was just his ass. <laughs> Dude. And then, I'm over, and then, like, over here I see, like, dudes fucking sprinting across the street and then going back. Mm -hmm. And then we get there... You chuck your backpack off. No, you, like, I didn't have my backpack. Oh yeah, whatever. Fucking, but like, I you, tossed my wallet and my phone down. Yeah, you like toss your shit down. Get ready for business. Then there's like this big ass gap in between the two groups, and then like as you guys got closer, the groups kind of like started to get closer. Yeah. And then you kick this kid's ass, and Stepped they didn't like it. Trap. They didn't like it. Yeah. They started punching at you, and I was like, okay, fuck that. I came in. I was originally planning to actually like try to like grab you. To try to like pull you back to our side, uh -huh. but then I felt like somebody rip at my shirt behind me, so I just turned around and started punching him. Yay! Yeah. There's one line in that uh, video. Fuck him up, Joseph. Yep. <laughs> I don't yeah. have to. I don't even have to like, <laughs> like remind you too much. Yeah, that, like I, I think that was like the most memorable thing that I remember from high school because like that was like that one. That line. was like the thing. Yeah. That was like that was before, like before that like I had I had people like fucking with me I like I I had hella people like always talking shit somehow like uh, they they found something to talk shit about on me when I was just a quiet kid in the back of the class like I never really did anything to anybody in high school I just kind of took the like 
took everybody like pretty much bullying me like and talking all this shit and saying like uh, I can't remember what they said but and then that Being happened bubbles. and then everybody was like all giving me props for standing up for myself and fucking giving me high fives and talking people were trying to praise me as like a hero for protecting you I guess in some way in all honesty like I feel like I feel like if you didn't get involved like I'm not saying you should uh, you should I'm not saying you shouldn't have I'm glad you did and I, I really appreciate that but I feel like if you didn't get involved it probably wouldn't have lasted as long as it did it probably would have, like would have took me to the ground started punching on me and then kind of pulled away and went home and whatever like you know what I mean mm-hmm. it's like oh fuck he's already done like bye like I don't know but since you jumped in because you were obviously like you still are I mean you're you're buffer than me <laughs> fucking you started uh, you came in and then they started punching you you fought back they started seeing you as like a, a bigger threat considering I was already on the ground and uh, wait was I on the ground yet no I wasn't I, I don't even know I wasn't no because um, like I pulled away and I I felt like a hit on the back of my head and I was just like oh what the fuck okay and I didn't do anything about it I was just like alright whatever and then I look up and I just see you hauling and just throwing everything. Like, I just over. remember like I'd look like I remember in the video it was like I just remember seeing me like I'm tr- like I'm trying like I got one hand over here and then I turn around and I got another hand trying to grab this guy and I just kind of like swing around yeah. and hit him in the face and then um, like the camera kind of cuts away for a second and then it comes back and I'm because like so I, I did wrestling in high school and that's literally all that I knew up until this point in my life and um, so uh, the camera cuts away and then now I've got some guy in a double leg so now I've got his legs like wrapped down wrapped around in my arms I pick him up and then throw him on the concrete when you lifted him up I came up and just bah, punched him in the face and then I, I got fucked up again <laughs> I got like eight dudes jumping on me that was how many people were there like against us I can't remember there was like eight know. like eight was I it? think I remember being at like I remember it being like upward of like 10 or 11. But considering the fact that me and Austin were in it, it probably seemed like more at the time. I feel like, uh, I feel like a lot of our side was just like talk. Right. Like, I know I didn't jump in, but as the first podcast, I had my reasons. Mainly because, one, I never been in like that type of situation and honestly seeing that whole shit kind of just scared the shit out of me and i knew if i did jump around with like my lack of fighting skills at the time right i would have just been a body to get get kicked around and shit but a whole bunch of our our group was talking like mad shit like they were gonna be there oh my throughout God. the I, whole thing before we started walking over i saw i can't remember who it was but hand somebody else a knife and People had gloves on, like they were getting ready to fuck shit up. And like, and then like we got there, and then we get there, and, 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 and it's like everybody's just like standing it. there. I'm the only one that actually came in and did shit. Yeah, and it's like like there's football players that were there that were in that were in our age group that like um, that came up to me like a week later and were like, oh, I was gonna help, but I have sports and like mm-hmm. co- like school to worry about. And I'm like, you know what? It's fine, whatever. Like, I didn't want anybody to jump in, like. I, it was my situation that I was put in, and I wanted to deal with it myself. But again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have jumped in. I, I really do appreciate that. But I was low key like kind of mad at you for jumping in and getting yourself fucked up. I really didn't even care about it to be honest. No, like, I, like I don't think either of us cared about it. Like, because I, because I, I, I took a fucking took, selfie. I showed up. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like we took, took a, a selfie. selfie. I pulled up my phone and we just took a selfie. Like my eyes all swollen shut. Um, I probably have blood coming out of my lip. Um, yeah, I'm sitting there fucking leaned over with the thumbs up. Yeah, and then I came to school the next day, I remember. And yeah, I just I walk into fucked. class, I sit down. I was like one of the first kids in there. And so nobody really like saw me. Uh-huh. But everybody at that point already knew like what happened. Right. And so I, I go and then like I just stand up. And then I stand up and then I just see eyes looking at me. I was in Dude, computer I keyboarding. I remember that. I was in computer keyboarding and I just remember I stood up 
And I just go over to the teacher and I was going to ask her just so I could use the bathroom. And she just looks at me. She's like, oh my God. Did you and have Godinas? Like, uh, yeah. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I just walked over and I was like, can I just use the bathroom? And she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I just, I just want to use the bathroom. It's like, don't, don't ask, don't tell. I got a pee pee. No, Let I'm me go pee pee or else I'm peeing on these keyboards. <laughs> uh, uh, I, um, I remember like seeing you that morning. I was like, oh shit, it's worse now. <laughs> and, uh, Indeed. And like, I walked up to you, I gave you a hug, we were talking about it, and everybody was walking up to us like, oh my god, like, you guys are fucking like this and that, da 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 da. I've had people like tell me, oh yeah, you're fucking stupid, why would you step into that position? Or, and I've had other people like walk up, oh, you got some fucking balls, mad respect, bro, and like, dapping me up and shit, like. People said the same shit to me, to be honest, like, for, there was like, some that were like, oh, how's your head feel? And then there would be others that were like, dude, you're a fucking hero. I, I, I hate that term. It, I, it's, it's so, I, I didn't like it. There goes my hero. Like, I, Copyright. like, sure, I appreciate, <laughs> like, I appreciate, like, the, it I was appreciating sure. the congratulations or, the, con, like, the condolences or whatever you want to call it. Like, don't get me wrong, like, mad thank you to everybody, I guess, that said, like, something positive about it. But it's like, I literally just did what I hoped you guys would do for your best friend or your family right yeah honestly it's like even though like i'm glad that i didn't get my fucking head kicked in yeah i kind of i really do wish like i did something more than that but i recorded it i was gonna say i know you like a gopro yeah dude that like going back to that that's what pissed me off about like everybody that was like talking about fighting and shit like, they were fucking talking a big game. They brought, like, fingerless gloves that would then fuck up their knuckles. Yeah. And then they filmed it. Yeah. Like, I will I will admit, I did film it, but I wasn't tasteless enough to film the whole thing. I think like, I remember, I, like, I, your I really video. wish you did. I, I, I was going to say, I think, your video, I think I remember in your video, you're, like, watching it, and then as soon as you saw that it got way too intense, you're like, oh, shit, and then it just cuts. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I fucking stopped. Like, I, I wasn't going to sit there and film that shit. Like, now that we can joke about it and shit. Well, I was joking about it, like, the next day. Same. Huh? Well, Jacob wasn't. Like, he was, he, he, that was dude, his I was fucking a traumatic experience. Like dude, that. I was, I was fucking traumatized. Like, the next day, seeing you, because, like, I didn't see you until second period when we had Ferris's class. Mm -hmm. I, was I don't think class. I even got to second period. No, did you I? did. Yeah. That was one of the, that was the first time I saw you. Uh, you got called to the office, like, midway through, but... Who's that? That was me. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, I was in that class before you, and then seeing you walk in and, like, seeing the after effects, because it always looks different a day after. All right, it looks Your worse. fucking eye was, like, black and literally I genuinely, like, shut. I genuinely, it was genuinely, like, hard to see out of that side of my face. <laughs> I'm surprised you are able to see it all. <laughs> huh. Well, you, like, I remember when your uh, eye started healing and shit, you had, uh, like, your eye was all still bloodshot, you had some, like, pop uh, vessels and shit. Yeah. Like, it was, uh, uh, I apologize, I'm saying shit a lot. <laughs> no, but, like, it was, I remember I got called up into the office, and then I look over, and I just see you standing there, and I was like, hey, what's up, bro? Dude, I, I remember, like, I, I had it, I had to deal with, like, the whole fucking effects of that shit. Right. Because since you guys got, you know, suspended for that week, <laughs> like, who who else is closer to you guys than I was? And then, like, nobody else. Like, everybody knows, like, we're, we're a fucking, like, tight unit and shit. So everybody was, like, coming up to me and asking. Everybody was, like, getting their stories twisted up. Right, I hate, like, the people that weren't there were saying, like, telling the story like they were there. Yeah, like, this one fucking bitch... She was, like, stretching the story all over the place like she was there. And, like, I legit, like, screamed at her. I was like, first off, you weren't fucking there. You didn't see your best friends getting their fucking faces stomped in. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. Stop acting like you know what happened. Because you, you don't. If you seen that shit in person and if it was your own friends, you wouldn't be saying shit. Mm -hmm. And, like... I, couple of minutes later she, like she came up to me and she apologized she was like yeah you know i i didn't see that and i'm sorry that that shit happened to you i remember varnum's class 
That was, I think that was my fifth period. Oh, dude, when he, when I came back from the suspension, he wanted to see the video so bad, and he was just calling out, like, takedowns and all this other shit that I was doing that dude, um, I learned in wrestling. Hey, he did that on the day, like, the day after, because I, some, somebody had the video. Mm -hmm. Somebody had the video, and they were like showing it around. Yeah, because remember kind of Daniel, the TA in that class? Yeah. Uh, I was kind of surprised that video didn't end up on, like, YouTube or anything, to be honest. Same. Is because fucking Barnum called me up. Barnum called me up and he was like, "Hey, you all right? Is Austin all right? Is Joseph all right?" I was like, "Yeah, they're they're fine." And like, he was genuinely pissed off, and like, he could tell that I was pissed off too. So he kind of gave me like a break from that class, and like, he was we were watching like the video, and he was like calling your <laughs> calling all your shots and shit mm -hmm. when you fucking picked that dude up and cracked his ribs. He was like, fuck yeah, Austin, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then, he, then, like, just seeing, like, everybody just beat on you guys and shit. He was like, man, that's fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. But, man, that was, that was like, the hardest day of high school for me. Just, like, dealing with all that shit. But I thought it was weird because in the aftermath, like, there would be guys that would, like, come up and say, like, hey, do you know so-and-so? And I'd be like, yeah, why? And they're like... Um, like there was this, there, like for example, I think it was my junior year. This guy followed me into the bathroom. Like he's was standing outside the bathroom when I got up to the door. I go inside, I pee, and then I turn around and he's just fucking standing there. And he asked me, he's like, "Hey, are you going to Taco Bell after school?" And I was like, "Why?" And he's like, "Do you know so and so?" And I'm like, "Why?" And then he just looks at me. And he's like, "Are you going to Taco Bell after school?" And I'm like, "No, fucking tell me what's going on." And he's like, just watch your back. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking. I didn't take any of, I, the, I, after that point, it's like anybody with that type of like attitude or like the way that they play, that they like carry themselves, just, that they carry themselves, like in the sense that those kinds of people did, I don't take them seriously. No, not at all. They're, after they're fucking, all, it's a fucking joke. After all, they needed fucking eight people to fight you guys. All right. And you guys still, like, walked away. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, you took that ass whooping. I went to the much. gym that day, too. Um, you guys took that ass whooping as much as, like, as serious as fucking Tyler flashing his ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I, I, I do, like I said in the lot, in the, what, what episode was it that we talked about this? One. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Like I said in the first podcast, like, I went, like... I went to Six Flags while I was suspended. Like, I was having a good time. <laughs> Dude, like, I, I remember, like, telling you guys, too, that I was going to go to Lincoln School and find this kid mm -hmm. <laughs> and just fuck him up right there. Because, like, like I, I was, dude, I was, like, so pissed off and shit. I, I, that shit put me in, like, in a bummer. It was, I remember, like, I was so happy to see you guys at Pulse because, like, we spent fucking every day of high school together, right. sophomore year. Because I know that we weren't, like, the closest freshman year. After mm -hmm. that, we, like... I, I still feel like that whole incident, like, solidified our friendships and yeah. shit like that. If it weren't for that, we probably wouldn't be... Nah, we wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we well, would, well, so. not, not nearly as close as we are. I don't, I, I don't feel... I genuinely feel that way. I, I, th I think we still would. It just would have taken us longer. Right. To yeah, get maybe. to that point. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you know, because, like, I I don't know. I guess, like, it showed that I was going to be there and have your guys' back. You know, whether I'm fucking fighting or not, I'm just there. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to be there. Yeah. Unless, like, um, I remember getting back to school the next week. And uh, that's when everybody started, like, like really... That's when everybody stopped kind of like messing with me. He was like, they know that I'm gonna stand up for myself now. Like that, that was like really a point in high school where I was just like, you know what? I already, I already went through this shit. Like I'm not gonna be dealing with any anything else. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants to come up and fuck with me, like I'm gonna stand up for myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. And if they want to do something about it, so be it. Like it, we're gonna throw it down. Like that's it. Yeah. Like. Wait. 
I think it took like junior year for me to like finally get my confidence. I think it was the Mayhem Fest that really did that for <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, you got when you got pushed in the pit. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if you remember that. Remember when we sparred? Oh yeah. And we like got into a boxing match. Yeah, like we got boxing gloves. Jacob has boxing gloves at his house, and we. Oh just... no, this is at your house. Oh, it was at my house. Yeah, yeah. I remember me and Felix sparred, and oh was yeah, for you, and I fucking lost. <laughs> And that like, was like, and I didn't even know like how to really like throw a punch. No, at and, that time. And, and I feel like the only reason you won, that, like I, I wasn't there, but like I saw the video and, st- and stuff, and like I heard Jacob's point of view, I heard your point of view. The, I feel like the only reason you really won that is because you tend to get really fucking close, like close enough to where it's kind of hard for a taller person to throw a punch and actually like land decently. It was probably just because of me being a wrestler. I'm always, I was always like. Close quarters. Like Wait, close our, quarters. Our, our sparring? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I won like, that. <laughs> oh, really? oh, fucking... Who was I, I remember, like, fucking Reyna was so shocked. Because she was, like, so sure that you're going to beat my ass. But, like, I was ducking and leaving with my fucking life. Mm-hmm. And you're throwing so many wild points. So I was, like, just, like, going like that. And then I remember Reyna was with her fucking friends. And she was, like, I'm actually fucking surprised he won. What? <laughs> and I was, like, wait, I won? What? <laughs> and then that like gave me so much fucking confidence to right. just throw it out to everyone. If it was like an MMA fight, it would have been a different story. But since it was just because I've always done stand like stand up like boxing with my brother, so like I've always known how to like throw and like dodge and shit. I'm not like just any like them out there who just like fucking wildly swinging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't. I don't. I won't say that I won. It's just you landed more hits than I did. Yeah. Because, in the end, you left the visible mark on my face. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. I had a fucking huge-ass bruise. You, you know what I remember about that, though? Because hmm. I remember I was, like, so fucking scared. I was like, oh, shit. Are we doing face shots? Are we doing face shots? And the first hit, you, your first punch you threw on me was to my cheek. And I was like, all right, we're doing this then. <laughs> we just scrapped for, like, a good two minutes. I remember your mom coming out being like, hey, okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's that was funny. fucking wild. <laughs> and then after that, I was like, I can scrap with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for popping in, grandfather. I appreciate it. The funny thing is, is that even if I can't fight and like hold my own, I don't mind getting my ass whooped. Mm-hmm. It's when you get your ass whooped and you run away, that's when you look like a bitch. Mm-hmm. But if you take that ass whooping all the way through, you, you learn from it. You learn from it and you gain their respect. Because, like, say if, like, I get my ass whooped really well. <laughs> I get my ass whooped good. Mm-hmm. And I still stand up and, like, offer to shake his hand. Yeah. Look him right in his fucking eye. That's that's a sign of respect. Oh, yeah. That's what I think's missing with, like, most... That's, that's, like, one of the things that I really, like, learned in wrestling. It's, like, I would get so pissed off with my opponents. But then at the end of it, it's, like, oh, well, you know what? Him and I both have the same goal. And I mean, sure, yeah, it's part of the sport. Like, it's a rule that we have to shake hands, but it's like... It's a genuine genuine respect thing. Yeah. You have to have that. And I was, I was raised on respect. Like, that's why I feel, like, so fucking... Yeah, like, they, and they, ma- they make you shake they make mm-hmm. you shake hands literally before and after the fight, too. Yeah. And it's like, like... Go ahead. That's, that's, like, what pisses me off, is that everybody's, like... They get into these fucking fights, or, like, these things and they just they don't have respect it's like that's that was the thing for me it was like in my like at least in my eyes i never necessarily saw fighting as like a way to resolve shit because it's like okay you have this issue with me and you want to fight me but what what are we solving if you if we just throw down right now right it's just gonna make us more pissed off with each other well see if it's like um because i've had this on multiple occasions where like like, somebody was doing something stupid. Like, for example, like, I was at the uh, Lathrop Skate Park. Um, some dude was smoking weed. There was a bunch of kids around. There was, like, like that day, for whatever reason, there were there were so many, like, little kids and their families. And, um, but these kids were sitting in the middle of the fucking Lathrop Skate Park just smoking weed. And I was, like, the parents were, like, like getting irritated with that because they weren't respecting that there were kids around. They weren't yeah. respecting that there were families around. So, and I noticed that, so I walked up to these dudes and I was like, yo, 
Like, I don't care if you smoke weed, just can you, like, get it away from the kids and, like, move over there into the grass or something? And they started getting, like, all puffy, and I was like, okay, so I I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, ruin your guys' vibe or whatever it is, but go over there. Like, there's kids. They can't be around this shit once, like, that's, that's not okay. And the quote-unquote main dude, the fucking leader, if you will, he stood up and he was like, like, is there a problem? I was like, and that's when I started getting irritated. I was like, look, I don't want trouble. Go over there or like, I'm, I'm going to end up calling the cops. So he fucking, I guess he fucking passes the joint over or blunt, whatever the fuck he was smoking over to his buddy. He was like, all right, well, we'll settle it right here. And I was like, fuck it. All right, I'm going to make a deal. He's like, what? like we're gonna go into the bowl we're gonna fight if you win I won't ever come to the skate park again this is your skate park if I win you never come back here you leave right now and don't come back if you come back like I know everybody around here you're fucked um, he's like all right fuck it so like it was a genuinely like like you guys had like, a mutual agreement yeah we had a mutual agreement like we we actually like literally shook on it and everything and so we went down into the bowl we Bumps it out for a little bit. I think it was like it was actually one of the one of the longer things I've been in. It was a uh, it was like five minutes. It was it hurt. <laughs> this dude <laughs> this dude has some hunches. Like, but at the end of it, I ended up getting more hits in. He ended up falling on his ass. Got up, fucking shook his head, got all pissed off, climbed out of the bowl, and fucking rode away. <laughs> and that was it. Like, and I I actually haven't seen him back at that park again. So like. I, I feel like that was like a respectable thing. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was cool. Like he stuck to his word, even yeah. though he was an asshole at first. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Like, I, no, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Like for me, it. I guess it's different from my perspective because it's like I, you guys have both been in actual fights before. I just started learning about striking. I just started taking martial arts classes. Mm-hmm. So I just barely I'm I'm new to actually like punching and kicking. I for like four years of my life I spent grappling. Right. So it's like it's this it's like a whole different aspect of it now that it that like opens up a lot more. And like it's just so different. Like actually getting to learn striking instead of like yeah. all that other shit. And you're doing um Muay Thai. Muay Thai. So, like, it's... it's You, you have grappling in there, too, right? Um, like, clinching. Yeah, clinching. Like, clinching, uh, catching a foot. Right. So, it's like, you, you already have that, like, kind of experience, if you will, with, like, with clinching, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, because of wrestling and all that. So, it's like, you, you're kind of getting the upper hand in that case when it comes to, like, controlling somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's like, it's not all new, but it's... It's like a whole. It's like, but there's as, there's aspects of it that are a familiar like, like flow to it. Yeah. Like when they showed us that when they actually like introduced the clinch in my class to us, and that was like the first time that we did it. Um, they made us because they made us kind of do a little bit of light sparring. So, I mean, because not a lot, not all of us have headgear at that gym yet. Right. So we would just go body shots pretty much with whatever we learned that day, whether it whether if it was um like punches elbows kicks knees whatever Mm -hmm. so um that day i just would clinch up with my partner throw a couple throw a couple uh throw a couple hooks into his stomach and then trip him and then we would just restart or reset same thing would happen he wouldn't learn so right it's like i i don't know i i enjoy i I'm an adrenaline junkie. I enjoy the like adrenaline stuff, like from like fighting, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to look for it. Mm-hmm. I I enjoy it even more so if it's like a mutual agreement or like yeah, like like if like in a controlled a respect, environment. Yeah, in a controlled environment, like it's it's respect from both ends. Mm-hmm. And it's like I, I I love it. Like I was honestly for I'm still thinking about it, like doing like MMA or something. No, like genuinely, you should come to the class that I'm at. I want to. 
I remember, uh, I don't know, I still think, like, the last option is fighting, though. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, for I, me, the last thing I want to do is fucking fight. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I, I try to talk things down before oh, anything yeah. happens, but if that if they want it bad enough, I've, they're going to... Get nobody, that. I guess. In, I guess in my case, then, then nobody actually has wanted to fight me bad enough. Because right. I've, because it's like everybody who's come forward to me with it, with some type of issue, I like would point the things that they're trying to like call me out on. Right. And it's like, okay, this doesn't make sense for this reason, this reason, and this reason. And it's like, okay, now they just look stupid and they just don't want to do it anymore. Well. In in my cases, the the thing that I find the most is like when you start to make people look stupid. That's when they want to fight even more because they know they already lost that battle. Yeah, it's so the, it's, I mean, it's not necessarily it that I was trying to make them look stupid. It's just well, more like well, like yeah, like regardless, if you prove your point mm-hmm. and they don't like it, feel threatened. Yeah, they feel threatened. They like they 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 want to bring it to a whole different level and, and so they can try to win that battle like the, yeah. the physical like fight they want to try to win that and I don't mean to sound cocky but like most of the time that's happened to me is like I've, I've won I've only ever really lost two fights and I'm not including the jumping in I, I don't consider that really a fight yeah me neither that was just a brawl for all <laughs> yeah but I don't know I remember uh, one of the fights I was in. Uh, I used to watch a lot of WWE back then, like, religiously. <laughs> right. I mean, I, st- I still watch professional wrestling. Uh, it's just, I don't watch WWE that much. But back then when I was, like, a John Cena, what do you call that? Fanboy? Fanboy. Stan. <laughs> ah, yeah. I was a John Cena stan. Um, I remember <laughs> me and this kid, he was just pushing my buttons, like, just keep, he kept pushing me, pushing me, pushing me, and then one day I, I snapped, so like, I pushed him, and I was like, alright, let's fucking go. <laughs> like, that was the first time, like, I, I actually, like, voluntarily, like, vol- voluntarily, yeah, initiated a fight, mm-hmm. and he gra- like, he pushed me back, I think he threw a punch at my chest. So, like, I picked him up and I fucking slammed him. <laughs> yep. How I did that, I was skinny as fuck back then. And once you got that adrenaline going through you, like, that's it. Like, you're like, stronger it, it's than, over. Yeah, that you're stronger. It's proven that... It's that fight or flight. Yeah. It's like, proven that, like, once you have that, like, a certain amount of adrenaline going through your body, like, there's been cases where people, like... Like, picked up cars. Yeah, literally picked up a car to have somebody climb out from under it. Like... You get fucking strong. You get like some like crackhead shit. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I think like what I I did. I think it was called a gut check power bomb. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get gotta get technical. Jack Swagger used to do it. Oh God, get the swaggy soon. I I look up gut check power bomb and the first thing that comes up is Joey Ryan uses his dong style wrestling to force Mister Fire. Does that sound like a porn title? <laughs> Joey Ryan's a like that's his whole gimmick. He has a big dick. Oh God, <laughs> that's not the wrestling I'm into. Huh. <laughs> no, that Shut was the me. Fuck up. No, that was me. I was the one that wore tights. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> and like all the all the the people that were like around, they're like. Dude, he did some WWE shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> you feel so like, proud of that, huh? No, I was like, why is it always like, why does everybody feel the need to make fun of like WWE and shit? Like, if I actually did one of the moves on you for real, it fucking hurt. Yeah, it hurt you and and your that, dude. Opponent. That was like that. That was that phase where like everybody hated on wrestling because they found out it was fake. Right. And I still, I knew it was fake. It's just entertaining. It's entertainment. Yeah, that's the point of it. But, yeah, everybody felt the need to be like, Oh, you're gay, you watch wrestling. It's like, so? Right. <laughs> They're like, you watch men roll around in tights. I'm like, that's fucking UFC, too. Right. <laughs> At least and my guys wear singlets. Huh. <laughs> and boots and leather masks. Hey, John Cena wore jorts, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up before you talk to me. Well, you got fucking. Sorry, don't talk shit about John Cena. Oh, fucking. Whatchamacallit. 
I remember that candy. George St. Pierre. What? What you call it? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> George St. Pierre wore fucking like short ass. Uh... He wore booty shorts. Yeah. <laughs> That's like how I felt when I started doing fucking Muay Thai. Like, cause they gave me the shorts, they gave me the T-shirt, and then I showed up to class the um, a couple days later, and my underwear was past my fucking shorts, and I'm like, are these the right size? Yeah, you get used to it. <laughs> but uh, another thing, shit. I I remember because I used to do wrestling as well, like fourth grade through seventh grade. Oh my god, I think I remember like what you're gonna say. Oh no. Uh, I remember, like, me and my friends, we would go, like, behind the, we would go behind, like, this little building that, like, none of the yard G's checked out, uh-huh. and we would just wrestle. Yeah. And the only thing that I really had, like, locked down was the double leg, the duck under, which was my favorite, and the head and arm. <laughs> my friend was, like, super tall. Mm-hmm. So, like, his, and he didn't, he didn't, he didn't know how to, like, do any of that shit, so yeah. I would always, like, just go for the double leg. And then this one big ass motherfucker came up from behind me, grabbed me by my shirt, and just flung me. <laughs> he threw me like ten feet back. Jesus! <laughs> and then I got up and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> like I was all disoriented. And I was like, "Hey, that was sick." I remember. Doing- and I went up to him and I like, gave him a hug, and he was like, yeah, "That was fucking cool, huh?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I remember like my go-to when I was in wrestling. I was a, it was um it's called a bulldog, and. I think I remember that. Yeah, like, it's so it's so fucking brutal, because they, the coaches would always hype it up as, like, this is a way that you can break the dude's nose and then pin him. Because, <laughs> like, so, like, the way that I best could describe it would be, like, you guys are all tied up, so, like, you have a hold of, like, your hand wrapped around the back of his neck. Yeah. And you also got his wrist, and you've trying to, you're trying to get control, and then it's, like, within a second, you, like, snap his head into a like a front headlock so then now it's just like his head shoved right there into your arm and then you scoop your arm your other arm underneath his opposite arm and then so now you've got like a like like almost kind of like a like a leverage hook on like a like you put your fist onto his back but his arm is um cocked up on on top of yours and then you just sprawl back and then you basically try to get this guy to land on his face, and then as soon as you hit the ground, you just run the arm, you run that arm up and the head down. Yeah. That'll mess somebody up for sure. Wrestling 101 with Austin Arroyo. Huh. I'm gonna make an OnlyFans and just make wrestling videos. <laughs> no, I people would probably sub. pay for that too. There's, there, I'm, Yo, you like, just gotta make sure you show your dong at the end. The no, no lie. There's like legit. Um, there's legit, like, um, one of the USA wrestlers, like, the guy that's on the USA wrestling team who's making an OnlyFans just to post training videos. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, because, I mean, OnlyFans what, is dude? not just for porn. Right. Dude, I make, like, Top Ramen recipes on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you put, you put this amount of butter in it? <laughs> yeah, you get, let me get you some milk. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we need to add more butter. Alright, now it's we need to add be. more butter. All right, now we got some noodles with our butter. Huh. <laughs> but man, I'm not hyping myself up to be like some fucking dude who just goes out of his way and fights. I re- I've only been in like four fights my whole life, and I I would try my hardest to avoid them. Mm-hmm. One of those fights I wouldn't even consider a fight because it was so one sided, and I was going off of pure rage. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I make sure when I get into a fight, I make sure to fight somebody who's equally as useless as myself when it comes to <laughs> hand-to-hand combat. That way, I have a chance. Right. Like now, against like I don't know somebody my own age with like the own my like the experience that I have. I don't know. Like if I were to, f- I feel like if we were to get jump now. I think we would handle that shit a lot differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just uh, stand up for myself when I need to. Maybe. Yeah. I Pretty much that's like I try. I try my hardest to maintain a, like a healthy relationship with everybody. Oh yeah. I'm that of type of person that just likes to get to know different people, and I just try to be cool with everyone, unless unless they're like 
blatantly a piece of shit. Right. Then I won't. But I like I like to be cool with everyone. Like my junior and senior year, I was cool with everyone. Nobody fucked with me at all. Nobody had any like shit to say to me. Mm-hmm. Like I was just cool. Mm-hmm. That's how I like try to be. That's try how I try to live my life. Like sometimes you know you obviously run into people that don't like you. Fuck them. Yeah. Like I work fast food. I deal with some fucking assholes. <laughs> right. But I always like I always talk to them like the same level of respect as I would like to be treated with. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is uh, the customers too. Right. Mainly because I'm paid to be nice to them. Mm-hmm. But I still find a way to be an asshole to them. It's, you handle your shit certain ways. Yeah. Because, like I said, I, I like to I like to treat people the way I like to be treated. But if they're not going to treat me that way, I'll still talk to them in a kind like kind capacity. But I'll still find a way to like be an asshole. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's that's especially like rewarding when you're the sandwich maker and you're making their sandwiches. Right. <laughs> like like, a, like today, a we had some fucking douchebags that were coming through the drive-through, and every time like they were being an asshole to like my the cashier. Yeah. Because I listen to everything on a headset. I will fuck up their order so bad, but not enough to where they uh, really know come it. back. Yeah. Like if they make like they order a breakfast bacon here, for example, I will like take the bun. I will put the sausage patty right here, at the very end. I'll put the slice of cheese at the v- other oh, end. Oh, so like it's all like lopsided and yeah. shit. And I will put it in a, like. A healthy dosage of cheese sauce on it. That way, when they bite in, it spills on their shirt. <laughs> I remember what I used to do because I used to work as a, I used to work as a cashier at a grocery store, and then every time that ever like I got some asshole that came into my line. So the paper bags um, at the grocery store that I worked at, we like the the handles on the outside of the bag were just glued on to the side. Right. So. What I would do is I would put their shit in the bag and I would kind of like make a little bit of a tear in the glue handle <laughs> on both sides, yeah. like both handles, Just, but it's just enough so that way it doesn't tear right away inside the store, but so that way they would... Um, Walk out after they'd walk out the and then like halfway to their car, like you just hear like a crash. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's I like fucked if there's eggs in the bag. Fuck them. <laughs> Put their it's eggs like, on the bottom of the basket and kidding. Oh. But um, it's like ways like that. You still be respectable, but you still get you still let them get their comeuppance. Yeah. I remember this one time. So um, there was this lady who came through my line, and for some reason, her credit card was asking for a pin number. So I was equally as confused as she was. And right off the bat, she's like, "It's your machine." I was like, okay. But um, anyway, so I didn't know what to do. We were swamped. I had one manager who was in the back. And he was already... He was um, helping to ship a, a load of product that just came in. And then there was another manager and then another cashier. Right. We only had one other bagger, and that bagger wasn't trained on how to use the check stand. So... Um, we only had three people that were running to register and the lines were super super far back but um, anyway so this lady her credit card is now making my line back up so far and I was like do you have any other cards that you might want to try out ma'am um, I don't know what to do with the credit card and then my manager kind of swung behind me and I asked him I was like hey her card is doing this because she brought out a second credit card and did the same thing and I looked at her and I, my manager told me, he's like, hey, it's the four numbers at the end of your credit card number that's on the front of your card and use that. And then she's like, I'm not giving you guys my number. And I was like, man, you're not giving us your number. It's just whatever is on the front of the card after you swipe it. And she's like, I don't care. We, like, like, you need to figure this out. And I was like, okay, well, let me wait till my manager can help me out because I don't know what to do and anyway so 
she at this point is just like starting to just bad mouth my manager standing behind me she's like he is rude every single time i come in here i hate it because he always is disrespectful he's mean he doesn't know what he's doing here and um she was like how the fuck is he a manager and i was like ma'am he's doing what he can he is a really really good manager and um then she starts bad mouthing him even more and she's like why isn't he coming over here to come and help us and i was like ma'am he's dealing with other customers over there he has to deal with what's in front of him first and she's like am i not a customer and i was like i didn't say that mm -hmm. and then so i walked back over and i was like I, I walked back over to my manager and i was like dude she's like i'm about to lose her shit like what what do i do and he's like just try to hold her off i'll come over there in a second and then before i could walk back over there she's like fuck you guys i can keep the, i'm gonna you can keep the groceries and i didn't do this to be petty at all it was just like pure instinct from working in customer service for like a, a year and a half at that point mm -hmm. but like my first instinct was i turned around and i was like have a good day and like i just see two middle fingers just come up right away so whoever's mom that is out there like if that's your mom um fuck you but um <laughs> yep it do be like that as a matter of fact are right, we gonna wrap this up right now yeah all right all right all right uh any uh last thoughts moral like, of the story thoughts. don't be a dick don't fuck with people come on now moral of the story <laughs> Treat people the way that you want to be treated. Don't be an asshole. Unless, you know, it really calls for it. <laughs> yeah. In that case, go ahead. We're not going to fucking... I don't care. Do what you want. Be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. I mean, <laughs> you do you, bud. I but mean, try, to, try it's, your it's hardest. It's your life. Actually. It's your life. Live it how you want, but don't forget. The way you live it will, like, always fucking come to bite you in the ass eventually. Yep. So... Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Austin, for yeah, being on the for, uh, podcast. Thanks for coming over and joining us. You're, you're officially our first guest. So, <laughs> I'm probably the last two. Oh fuck no! We have like <laughs> uh -huh. we've just we've just been lazy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for listening. This was episode seven. We don't know when episode eight's gonna come out. Like we said, we're lazy. <laughs> Oh wait, no. This is episode six. Oh yeah, <laughs> Remember, I'm drink, fucking drink stupid, water. Man. Drink water. The Earth's flat. Um. <laughs> Alright, buddy, get out. No. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for uh, fat thanks people for, are a myth. <laughs> fucking god. Hey. <laughs> thanks for uh, popping in, tuning into the uh, Real Meal podcast. It was nice having you guys. It was nice having you, Austin. Thanks again for Thank coming you. in. Appreciate it, bro. And, uh, Thank you guys for listening to our. Uh, pretty cool lives that totally cool people probably live better lives of <laughs> I love you <laughs> alright nice. later deuces <laughs>